Hey y'all, it's me back with another video. Okay, that's for the person that said, don't get rid of your intro because I really like it. Okay, so we're coming back out of the voodoo hoodoo spell book again today with another teaching. And today I said we were going to do it on a female loa, but I changed my mind at the last minute. Um, I changed my mind um, at the last uh, minute. Well, I guess spirit changed my mind for me. And wow, both of those pillows just fell at the same time. Okay. And we are today going to do it on the Baron. Uh, Baron Smetty. So, the Baron Samedi is a Loa of the Dead, along with his numerous other incarnation. And so, I listed like uh, three other names that he goes by in French. He is the ultimate, suave, and sophisticated spirit of death, usually depicted with a black top hat. Black tuxedo, dark glasses, and cotton plugs in the nostrils as if to resemble a corpse dressed and prepared for burial in Haitian style. He has a white skull-like face, talks through his nose, and tells crude but funny jokes. He is known for his disruption obscenity, debauchery, and having a particular fondness for tobacco and rum, as well as being the all-knowing loa of death, he is a sexual loa, frequently represented by phallic symbols. He is the head of the Getty family of loas and married to Mamam Brigitte. And so we'll talk about her tomorrow. Baron Samedi stands in a crossroads where the souls of humans pass on their way to Guinea. Baron is a protector of children and, and is petitioned for sick children. He has authority over zombies and decides whether or not people can be changed into animals. Since Baron Samedi is the Lord of Death, he is the last resort for healing because he is able to decide whether to allow the dying to cross over or to allow them to recover. In Haiti, he is associated with St. Gerard Majea. So that is the Baron. Because someone asked about the Baron in relationship to Papa Legba. So, you should be able to tell the difference between the two loa. Now, to our best friend Chopper. Chopper, you shouldn't have never said nothing about me, sweetheart. Because I'm one of them kind of people that once a thought get in my head, it's kind of hard for me to forget about it. So, since you said I'm bitter... I'm I'm going to send this loa to help you since they are associated with some of the problems that you have. And that is Baba Luai. Now, if I was bitter, I wouldn't want Baba to come and help you. But I'm going to pray to Baba that he comes and assists you with some of the problems that you have. And let's see what um Baba Luai is um, you know, what he signifies. So, Baba Luae is the spirit of epidemics, illness, and disease, but is also the deity which cures. Though originally associated with smallpox, many of today's worshipers appeal to Baba Luae for healing from HIV and AIDS. In Santeria, he is synchronized with St. Lazarus. Baba Luaye is said to be the rightful owner of the earth and a special advocate for the poor. 
Babalua is traditionally pictured in blue, brown, red, white, and purple, and is offered rice, wheat, corn, beans, chickpeas, garlic, onions, smoked fish, and possum in divination rituals. His sacred implements include a rattle and two crutches, which are decorated in purple and gold. A power object associated with him is a broom made from palm fronds and decorated with cowrie shells and beads. So, um, it would be really easy for you, uh, Chopper, to get you some rice, just make you a pot of rice, and some wheat and corn and beans and put that on a plate and write you a petition to uh, Baba Luaye and say a prayer for your conditions. And if you have a problem doing that, I will be more than happy as soon as I set my altar up to do that for you. Now, I don't think a person that is bitter would pray for you to get over your condition. But there you go. You may need to, you know, make your petition to Baba Luaye to help you to overcome your physical and mental conditions. He would be the um, Orisha for you to go to in this case. And while you petitioning Baba Luaye, I'll be going on to um, Mambo Mama and um, having a talk with my ancestors to help me deal with your negativity and toxicity in this time of pandemic. Now, y'all be blessed, and I hope that you appreciate these teachings. These teachings will be done hopefully every day around this time. I will post them here. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the uh, comment section. And uh, Chopper, if you need help setting up your altar to uh, pray, because obviously you need some prayer, sweetheart, you can e email me at um, omooshun94602 at aol.com. Okay, you guys, be blessed. I love you. Bye.